Trump rips lying Camilla after cringeworthy interview on The View. He said, quote, the dumb woman, women on the show wish they never asked that election defying question. <laughs> if y'all haven't seen it yet, <laughs> I can't wait for y'all to see it. This is wild. I can't believe they asked that question, just like Trump said. Um, <laughs> she, this could be the thing that helped, that helped that help um propel trump through this election um so we're gonna play the clip we're gonna talk about it um but before we get started go ahead and hit that like button share this out so we can get this information out there subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and hit that alarm bell so you know when i'm putting out new stuff also check out my link tree in the description it has a link to my patreon that's where i talk about things that i can't talk about here there's also a link to my instagram and my ex account so follow me there as well all right so let's talk about this news now this comes from the Gateway Pundit um, from Jim Hoff. He reports that Camilla Harris, the Democratic presidential nominee, once again demonstrated her inability to navigate even the most favorable, favorable media settings, handing President Trump yet another opportunity to pounce. Like I said, I said time and time again, this is why they've been hiding her, because she is not good at at thinking off the cuff she's not good at articulating her points without this structured thing that's why she keeps repeating the same stuff over and over and over again because she really doesn't have a thought in in any of these things she's a, actually a puppet that's why she acts that's why she admitted that her policies and uh, is the same thing as joe biden's policies but because they have the same puppet masters but appearing on the view Harris joined the show's co-host to promote her campaign and attempt to defend the Biden-Harris administration's dismal record. However, what was expected to be a softball interview turned into another embarrassing blunder for Kamala. Kamala faced a rare moment um, of accountability when the View co-host Sonny Holston dared to ask a challenging question, one that Harris uh, failed to navigate. And before I uh, uh, continue on with this, uh, people, uh, I keep getting hit in the comments about the way I say Kamala. I can't say it. I can't say her name. I'm from the country. It's how I talk. Get over it. Like, I, out of all the things people want to criticize, they crit the only thing they can really criticize is how I, how I, um, how I say Kamala. Because uh, <laughs> everything, I, everything else I, I talk about is facts, and they can't argue with the facts. So they go with, oh, why can't you say her name right? Which I think is super hilarious but anyway i digress um when asked if she would have done anything differently than president biden over the past four years harris delivered an astonishingly tone death response like i said i told y'all she is not that bright instead of distancing herself from biden's disastrous policies harris fully aligned herself with biden claiming there was quote not a thing she would have done differently I mean, nothing though, nothing. I mean, not even the uh, withdrawal from Afghanistan or anything, any of the disastrous policies, like uh, maybe not go for the open border <laughs> policies or anything. She, reg she regrets nothing. Um, I'm gonna play the clip in a little bit. Um, President Trump didn't waste a moment in seizing the, um, the opportunity launching his response on X where he took direct aim at Harris's allegiance to Biden's failed policies. Like, they will never admit they were wrong. That's the thing about Democrats. They never admit to any type of wrong. They never take any type of accountability for anything they do. They literally ran the economy into the ground, and 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 yet she says, oh, there's nothing I would change, so nothing I would do differently. Everything is great. I, we made no mistakes. Like, really, though? Really? But Trump said lying Camilla, who is being exposed as a dummy every time she does a show, just stated to the degenerate uh, degenerates on The View that she would have done nothing different than crooked Joe Biden, the worst president in history of the United States. Um, the, the lamestream media doesn't want to pick up the story. The dumb women on the show wish they never asked her the question that led to that election defying answer. But the internet is going wild, and he's right. Wild it, <laughs> wild it did. Um, again, I'll play the clip in a second. He said, for starters, the border disaster, that's what I just alluded to, with murders and everyone else being allowed to invade our country, 
worst inflation in history, which I also mentioned. The Ukraine disaster, October 7th with Israel, loss of energy independence, the Afghan debacle, loss of respect all over the globe, and much more. Her dumbest answer so far. <laughs> I definitely agree. But let's listen for ourselves. This is what she said. I mean, it's so idiotic. So idiotic. Here we go. Well, if, if anything, would you have done something differently than President Biden during the past four years? And it's a softball question. I, I know, I know, um, I know um, Sonny Holson was like, yes, this is a great question I'm going to ask her. I, um, I know she'll have a great retort. I know she'll, uh, she'll, she'll say something great. I mean, this is, <laughs> Sonny Holson have no idea how dumb this woman really is. Uh, but let, let's, let's, let's listen to her response. Let me rewind a little bit and listen to her response. Here we go. During the past four years. Uh, there is not a thing that comes to mind in terms of, and I've been a part of, of, of most of the decisions that have had impact. <laughs> just, just, I mean, <laughs> what was she thinking? Oh, oh she, she wasn't thinking. That's, that's the problem. But Harris's unqualified support for Biden's policies is further proof that the administration is dangerously out of touch. Trump highlighted the administration's failures from record high inflation to ongoing crisis at the southern border. According to Trump, her dumbest answer yet shows a disturbing inability to address these pressing issues independently, leaving America to suffer under the current administration's policies. And I 1000% agree with that. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this. Leave your comments down below. Uh, like, share, and subscribe. And check out jjthepsychotherapist.com for the latest in news. Until next time, peace.